Hello there, welcome to Games on Board. Look at this. Oh my, oh, it's heavy too. So, I don't usually do unboxings, but I had to do one with this one. I, I borrowed it from a friend, and you have to see what's inside this. So, oh, in case you don't know this game, Arcadia okay, Quest came out in Kickstarter. Uh, my friend actually received this game a couple of weeks ago. And he got this one and you know how many boxes like this. It's big and heavy and it's just marvelous and wonderful all at the same time. So let me get this uh, in screen with the uh, other camera. There you go. So Arcadia Quest, following the Arcadia theme, different, all these heroes right here. This time they go down to hell and fight their way out. Adventure game by Eric M. Lang, Fred Parrott, Guilherme Goulart and Tiago Rana, so uh, published by Kulmini or not, Spaghetti, Spaghetti Western Games. And let's get right to it. Let me show you the back. Let me see a little bit of what it's got. Here you go, an adventure dungeon crawling style game. Lots of minis, that's what I'm interested, that's what I want to show you. And this layout, look at that, it's just beautiful. And it's a game that you can play without a master, you can, it's everybody, um, Plays it at the same time. You don't have to have somebody, you know, be the bad guy. Two to four players, 14 and up, and 60 minutes. Oh, it's probably a bit more. So, let's take a look at inside. So it brings these bags. I think it's pretty cool for each one of the, the heroes. A snake, shark, a tiger, and a crow, I believe it is. Pretty cool. Then it brings um, this sheet. Uh, it's a campaign sheet that you write down who won, least deaths, most coins, one title, one reward for each one of the, the places I guess you can go in the campaign. Lots of these to fill in in case you play with different players. Cool stuff in the background. I like this. Descent also uh, brings something like that, but it's, it's not in color. Keep track of deaths. There you go. Rule book. Lots of pages. Lots of images. Thinks so everything in detail. Character is explained here what they do and even the bad guys. I think it's 30, 39 pages. 39 pages of rules. Typical thing anyways for a, a Mary Trash. So, uh, and this is the campaign, the Inferno campaign. I'm not gonna go through it. I don't wanna do any spoilers, but it's quite dense too. It's got 20, 31 pages. So here's the character uh, play mat. And where you put the cards, the cards, equipment cards for heroes and so on. Here are the character cards as well. I'm not going to open it because the game is not mine, as I said before. I borrowed it and I don't want to <laughs> take that away from him. Here are the, the bad guys, the minion cards. Lots of little cards. Equipment cards and don't know what these are. I haven't played the game. I haven't played any of these or Katie Quest, but now I really want to. And this is what I wanted to show you. Now, if you follow my channel, my YouTube uh, Games on Board channel or the Facebook account or Twitter account, I lately have been uploading 360 degree images of, of minis. You can actually scroll from left to right and have it turn at your will. Now, the platform that I use to do that is closing down, so I gotta find a way to upload those again. If you, if you know one, let me know in the messages below. Something that's free, please. The ones I've seen are quite expensive. And uh, my friend let me borrow this so I could do that with the, take pictures of the images and then upload them. But I saw how cool it is and I said, hey, let's do an unboxing video. I don't, don't usually do unboxing videos, but I had to for this game. So uh, if I can and I, and I find uh, another website where I can upload them, in the video description of this video, I will do the 360 degree turns for each one of the miniatures so you can click on them and, and take a look at them. So here's some tiles for the boards. I think there's nine in total. Dense, thick cardboard, some good quality stuff. And here's the minis. Here's the minis. Here's the rock and roll. Look at that. And two levels. Love it when they do that. Love it when they bring this plastic insert to keep the minis perfectly in, in place so they don't get. Yeah. I mean, they still do um, move around and see how the. What's this, like a spike or something? It's not completely straight. But it's not like when you buy a Descent or something like that, that the minis are completely crooked or slanted. 
they're like doing a, a Michael Jackson dance or something. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. The level of detail. He has a, a nipple ring. My friend Ryan, he got a nipple ring when he was 17 and he passed out. <laughs> he turned completely pale. And um, look at that. Pretty cool stuff, huh? I love his helmet. <laughs> Thou shall not pass. I hope this is actually focusing. If it's not, it's gonna look pretty bad. There you go. Maybe I was on out of focus. Cool. Out of focus or not. These are the angels with their wings. Big ass weapons. Very heavenly. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Really, really cool. Great detail, which is fantastic. And then the pictures they came out really well as well. So again, I'll do my best to upload them to 60 degrees. Now this is one of the boxes with minis. Oh, come on. Oh, I'll just, I'll do that later. And now here's another set. Two levels as well. Yeah, this got a bit dent in the packaging. Look at that, all the heroes. You can see that well. Cool stuff. I love it. I love minis. Cool mini or not really takes the name seriously. Look at that weapon. It's all in there. Let me see if I can focus on that. There you go. And look at this. Boom. Sit on you, and you're done for the rest of the game. Cool stuff. This guy. The secondary actor Bob. Oh, the Simpsons. Pretty cool, huh? This one looks like a witch. The broomstick and all. stuff really really good cool stuff and that's not everything so it's one last thing it's one last huge thing <laughs> it's huge it's huge and it's awesome this up in detail here. It's got so much detail. All the little skulls here next to the throne. Big sword. It's some sort of like a blanket or something that covers, uses to cover himself. And everything's pretty cool. It's not completely solid. I mean, it's hollow in some part of it. But that, I mean, that makes it, at least that makes it a bit um, lighter. Because it weighs a lot. I'd say this weighs something like 400 grams. It's heavy stuff. It's cool. It's really cool. Well, that's, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. All the components of this game brings. Again, it was a Kickstarter, and it was uh, it came out. My friend received it a couple weeks ago, so I don't know exactly when it came out, but I'm sure you can get it in the states and so on. Here in Europe, it depends because in Spain it hasn't come out. And I don't know if any publishers will get it, but in the states, um, I think you can buy it anywhere. Just check on Made Cool Me or not on the website. You get it. That's it. That was our unboxing and see you in our next video.
Games on board. We do the reading, you do the playing.